In this paper, we described uh, a way to use a DNA nanostructure as a designer uh, molecular scaffold to um, organize um, a dye molecule. This dye molecule is a cyanin dye, and that this dye molecule will bind to the minor groove of the DNA and get closely packed into uh, something like a, a J aggregate, which um, also um, happens in nature in the photosynthesis that the dye molecules are highly organized into closely packed chromophore arrays to be able to receive light and, and um, transfer energy more efficiently um, to create excitonic um, like uh, molecular wire. So in this case we, we use the DNA as a designer material to organize this dye so when we put the dye onto the DNA and um, this dye will get um, organized into a, a excitonic wire and we can see a long range and directed energy transfer from a donor molecule to an acceptor molecule. Um, so this, uh, this DNA is about 100 uh, base pairs long, about 10 turns of uh, a, a DNA. And uh, this is the first time that you can see it's such a long range energy transfer from a donor molecule to acceptor. A uh, typical of um, foster energy transfer, the distance is about five to six nanometers. Uh, to be able to see such a long range uh, energy transfer, that set a milestone for us to be able to, uh, in the future, to design a um, um, excitonic um, energy transfer network based on the uh, self-assembling DNA nanostructures. This work was supported by a Department of Energy grant involving uh, um, investigators from uh, ASU in MIT and the University of New Mexico. Uh, it's a highly interdisciplinary team and uh, we have uh, used DNA as a a molecular building block and with people like Neil Woodbury and Su Ling, they have the expertise uh, in the uh, photochemistry, photobiology that help us to design this material and study in detail of the uh, energy transfer. We also have uh, um, David Witten from uh, University of New Mexico who provided the dye molecule and they synthesized the molecule for us and we use the molecule in this study.